do you have to be Picasso to do nail art, to incorporate nail art, to have nail art as part of your nail business? We're going to talk about this and all the little details that go with it right now on the Biz Talk. I'm cold. It's crazy. It's, it's cold. cold. It's cold. And you know what? East Coast people, I don't care that it's <laughs> negative 80. Okay. It's 50 here. And that's enough for me. Look at my hands. No, my hands are like 50 and raining. Yes. <laughs> it's 50 and raining East Coast people. <laughs> and quit your complaining. <laughs> quit your complaining. You're zero degrees. Um, I'm chilly and that's all that matters. About me, 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 me. Always me, Trace, by the way. Yeah. I like that answer. She knows. I've given up. <laughs> good. Good. Just just given. Okay. Um, this is a really good topic because I think there's a big misconception in our business of people thinking that they've got to be Van Gogh, Picasso. You have to be this incredible like naturally talented artist to do nail art in the salon. Okay. And it intimidates people. I feel like people go on Instagram and they see all this amazing nail art, which, you know, is beautiful and it's great, but there's, I think there's confusion and this is why I want to talk about it. I think it's good for the industry. I think it's good for people starting out to kind of get this take. But just simply, what is your what's your take on this? Like how advanced do you need to be if you're going to bring nail art into the salon, which you probably should bring it in. But if you're going to do that, Absolutely. like talk about this a little bit. Uh, hopefully not very talented because I got none. <laughs> Zero. Okay, let's 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 as just far vibe as artistic, on this. Artistic, like. Okay, can draw. you draw? No. Okay, I think this is good. This is a great, great example because <laughs> you're a perfect example. To save my life, I okay. cannot draw. Did you grow up with an art background at all? Nope. Okay. Do your parents, anybody in your family, like like artists, well known artists, or have can draw like? You know, like me on a horse riding sun, wind in my hair, something mm-hmm. beautiful. Is that just is that got, possible? Just got nauseous. <laughs> totally unrelated to that picture you just painted in my uh-huh. head. Uh-huh. Um, actually, my sister's very talented that way. Okay. But uh, that just skipped me. It skipped you completely. <laughs> yeah, I have it on my mom's side of the family. There are people that are very talented in that way. Nope. Okay. But yeah. But not famous at all. At all. Okay. Sorry, sis. <laughs> But you yourself incorporate, have incorporated in the past in your business, a lot of nail art. And to this day, a lot of the education that we're doing on YouTube, a lot of the demos, a lot of the strategies, charging, upcharging, all includes nail art. How? This is funny. I would consider myself someone that specializes in nail art. So, okay. Not an artist, can't draw to save your life, never had any background in it, but yet you specialize in nail art. How does, why, how, like, let's vibe on this a little bit. This is really good. So when I finally realized that if I would just trust the process, like, so when I started doing nail art, I would try all the drawing and try all this stuff. And I would, of course, just wipe it off immediately because it did not look good. Okay. And then even when I got into glitter and things, it's not always pretty when you first do it. Like, right. especially my nails, hot mess, right? Until you put that top coat on and all of a sudden Explodes. that bling yeah. just comes out. Then I started realizing I actually have art talent, I guess. Maybe some people wouldn't call it that, but I, I consider it, I have this art that I love to do. It's my, I call it Picasso's version of art. It's <laughs> it's a little abstract. Okay. Um, and no, it's not hand painting, but it's still very much art. Right. So if someone considers themselves, like considers themselves not an artist like you did, 
okay? And they're banging their head against the wall right now because they're trying drawings, portraits. Obviously, we've seen amazing art and a lot of our educators do incredible stuff. But if they can't do it, what's a good place to start? So you found your way of doing art. You said, you know, through glitters and and color combinations. Mylar, all that. Yeah, mylar, like more on the abstract side is what you found, Mm -hmm. right? But maybe that's a good place to start for somebody that doesn't consider themselves an artist. Like where, talk about that. Like what are some basics? What can they do to get the flow going? Just start with one glitter. Just and and do first. and do what? You could do sugaring or okay. you can embed it. Either one. It's super simple, beautiful. Clients will love it all day long. And that's the thing. That you go to an art gallery. It doesn't have to be a hand painting of someone. You see, you'll, you'll look at some paintings and it's just color thrown right. on the canvas. Right. Gorgeous. Right. Same thing here. We're just throwing glitter on the canvas. Right. And it's gorgeous. In my opinion. Oh, boy. <laughs> in my opinion... I think the simple um, art type of art, and when I say simple, I don't mean less talented. I just mean simple as in you're not going to draw like a portrait on the nail, right? Right. You're using glitters, like you're saying, or color acrylic to to give it like some art uh, pop, right? I really believe it's almost better because there is the time issue in the salon there's a time issue so if you're an artist i think it's going to be a little harder for you because you are used to doing these beautiful drawings very perfect very nice Mm -hmm. i think that's gonna that could work against you because when you're in the salon and you're executing sets time is of the essence you've 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 got to move and if you're spending a lot of time on the detail and you're not charging for it and your clients don't want to pay for it for whatever reason, I don't know what, you know, I'm sure you can find a way, but that's going to work against you, I feel like. I like that because it's not about the time that they're taking or what they're doing. It's the fact that they're not charging for it. Correct. That's that's the problem. That's the key. So if you're charging for it, great. Now for me, Actually, the staff who's over here can testify. The other day, we did a set on her, and one of the sets uh, from Dubai. Fahime? Yes. Yes. Amazing. Gorgeous. And she had encased a feather. We didn't have feathers, so I'm like, well, I'll kind of do my version of a feather. I do not have the... No, I probably could have took my time. Okay. And maybe did a feather. Like, drawn it? Okay. Or something that looked more like a feather than my stitches that I gave her. <laughs> we called it stitches. But you gave her stitches. But I don't have the patience. <laughs> yeah. Or the energy. I do not like doing it yeah. on top of it. Not that I I can't do it. There's one thing. But even simple things like a feather. Yeah. I don't enjoy it. And I don't feel like <clears throat> I would get enough money right. to warrant taking that time to do her feather so what did right. we end up doing we did stitches or whatever <laughs> you want to call it it's, it's a purple line with some things coming off of it and sure it turned out fine yeah it's, your it's, version of it yeah it's my yeah. version and that's what people need to stop judging themselves yeah off of other people yeah that that's huge and it's hard to do because social media life for any whether you're a photographer, or any creative person, even business people, right? You go on there and you see all these like, quote unquote, entrepreneurs killing it on Instagram and like rolling in their, <laughs> you know, Benzos and like Rolls and Bentleys rolling and rolling in those bills. It's at it's home. yeah, it, <laughs> rolling in those like credit card debt. Um, but I think that's part of social media, and and especially in nails, you go, you're gonna find amazing nail art. But the thing is, is that. I really think if you are starting and you're not a quote unquote artist, right? I think you're going to have it better because you're not going to be judging yourself so much on all this detail and all this stuff. You're not going to worry about how much to charge for that um, type of art where you can start to, it's going to be more simple. It's like, okay, two glitters, you know, each glitter, I'm going to charge an extra five dollars. I'm going to be able to do this within an hour for a full set or if you're doing a fill, let's say 30 minutes or, you know, 40, 45 minutes, depending on the fill or type. Um, But you're going to be able to execute them because now you're just you're grabbing and go. And if you already 
do acrylic, well, now you know how to do color acrylic. Yeah. And so the options are endless. And if you know how to do color acrylic, well, you know how to do glitter acrylic. It all is part of it. And so now it's a matter of like color, picking color, right? Color combinations. And I think uh, where we can make mistakes, I, I know I did at first, is I did judge myself off of, we, we had some really talented uh, hand, hand painters. Yes. <laughs> in my salon. And I thought... You know, I couldn't, if someone came and was like, saw her stuff and they'd be like, ooh, I want that. Yeah. I felt this huge pressure to try mm. to execute it. Where once I finally said, that's not my look. Yeah. Here are my designs that I've had planned out or, uh, you know, um, in back then it was photos. Um, then I, the pressure was off because I wasn't trying. I, if you let clients know that's great. your, your talent your flair for nails, and that's where Instagram yep. is huge. Huge. Here's my looks. This is the kind of art that I do. Take a look. Am I your tech? Don't promise things that you can't give. I think that is massive. Like, you have to know your strengths and don't try to, like, if there's a tech in the salon that's doing something, you can't try to be her or him. You just can't. You got to be you. You've got to do what you're good at. And I love that. Like bring in three or four or five, whatever, six looks of the stuff that you can do and showing your clients with confidence, I think is such a huge key. You've got to communicate. When you communicate information, you've got to communicate it with confidence. It's it, uh, an example I always go to is like, if I go to a doctor Okay. And the doctor is like, well, I think you can take some medicine or, you know, maybe an x ray. I'd be like, what the hell? You might be pregnant. (laughs) But the tests say it. (laughs) Dude, I (laughs) am out. And I know I'm using an extreme example here, like doctor, but any place that you go for a service, remember, you're the professional, you're the one that is giving the service. You have to communicate it with confidence. And even if it doesn't live there in the beginning, you've got to like, you got to force it, force that confidence. Like, boom, here it is. Here's my info. You can be practice. That's something that I do a lot. I, I swear to God, like I, when I drive in my car, I will practice things that I want to communicate and I will say them out loud and talk like a crazy person in my car on my commute. I do this. Mm-hmm. You do that outside. Outside, of your I do too. this. I do this at work in front of Tracy and the team all the time. Are you talking to yourself? <laughs> yes, I am. Um, but like, practice these things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And communicate it. Communicating with confidence what you do as far as art is concerned, I think is I think is super yeah, important. I like that. And don't feel bad. I cannot paint. I don't feel bad for it. Right. I do this, and I feel good about it. Yep. So yep. I love it. Don't feel bad about it. So. Look, you don't need to be Picasso or Van Gogh um, to be a awesome nail artist, okay? Like to do nail art in incorporating your services. You don't. You just need to understand some basics. You can always use us for inspiration. Go to our page, look for color combos. We're always posting, Tracy's always posting amazing color combos from a lot of our you know mentors and influencers, so on and so forth. Check those out for inspiration. Tracy? Thank you very much. Thank you. You're an inspiration. I know I am. Mm. And we want to know in the comments below, what do you do? You know, are you an artist? Are you not an artist? How do you go about it? Let us know with that. So thank you very much. And we'll see you next time on the Biz Talk.